Welcome everyone to this video on Workday Time Tracking. I'll be walking you through some key concepts related to managing work schedules in Workday. Disclaimer Let's start with a quick overview of what we'll be covering today. I'll discuss how to manage ad hoc work schedule changes, day breakers, calculated time block dates, importing work schedules, and schedule attributes. First, I'll explain how you can manage ad hoc work schedule changes in Workday. Daybreakers are an important concept in Workday that influence how time is calculated. The daybreaker defines the start time of a worker's workday and work week. It also determines how Workday assigns dates to calculated time blocks. When a reported time block crosses a daybreaker, the daybreaker divides setting controls which date Workday uses for the calculated blocks. Workday splits the reported time into two calculated blocks and assigns the date based on whether you select current day from previous day or current day from next day. You can import ad hoc schedules from another system using the Import Ad Hoc Schedules web service. Workday validates the data before accepting it. The imported schedule blocks don't affect regular work schedule calendars, but can be viewed in reports. You can use the Import Ad Hoc Schedules web service to import schedules from a third-party scheduling vendor into Workday Time Tracking. Workday validates the imported data before the web service operation accepts it. This slide covers the key concepts related to managing work schedules in Workday. Thank you for watching our video and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos.